Continuing with the Math 4A review, looking at question number 71, they say find six trig functions. Once again, I'll go ahead and find the uh, sine, cosine, and tangent, leave you to the other ones. Um, so, draw in my graph here, or sorry, my triangle. So I got, there's theta, there's 12, there's 10, okay. The first thing I want to realize is I need to find the, the uh, missing side. So 10 squared plus 12 squared equals C squared. That's 100 plus 144. So that's 240, sorry, 344 equals C squared. Taking the square root of that, okay. So that is not a perfect square. Okay, so I can reduce that down. I'm going to go ahead and leave it unreduced. I'm going to just call this the square root of 344. Okay, so to find the sine of theta, that's equal to the opposite over the hypotenuse. Cosine theta is equal to the adjacent over hypotenuse. Okay. And the tangent of theta is equal to the opposite over the adjacent, okay, which reduces to take a what? Two out of both of those, so that's five six. I'll let you reduce and rationalize that yourself. I'm um, just trying to get it set up. Seventy seven. Uh, now seventy seven.
and this is 4 plus 49 equals r squared, and that's 53 equals r squared. Take the square root, and r equals the square root of 53. Okay. Um, this being my theta here, I want to go ahead and find the sine, cosine, and tangent. So the sine of theta is equal to the, um, the y-coordinate over the radius. Right. Cosine is equal to the x coordinate over the radius. Right. Okay. And then the tangent is equal to the y coordinate over the x coordinate. Okay. And of course, these you have to multiply top and bottom by root 53 to rationalize. Okay. Uh, let's do one more on this video, 91. Okay. And 91 says, in the exercise, um, find the value of the other five trig functions. Okay, that satisfy it. So basically, say the secant is of theta is 6 over 5. Okay? And at the same time, the tangent of theta
example and say cosine theta, sine theta, and then tan theta. I'll let you do the other ones. Okay. So the cosine is equal to the x value over that, over the radius, the y value over the radius, and the tangent is equal to the y value over the um, x value, right? Okay, so negative and those look good to me, okay? And then you could do your reciprocals and they already gave you the secant. 